Hi guys. Today we are joined by Alvan and Ahes, who will represent France in uh, the Eurovision Song Contest this year. How are you doing? Hey, Hi. perfect. Cool to be there with you. Likewise. Likewise, yes. Uh, how has the time been since you won Eurovision France or Savuki this it is, as you call it? Yep. Good accent. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we we managed to meet a lot of people, to do some free parties, to do some interviews too. So we are in the big rush of Eurovision and that's a, an incredible experience. Cool. Um, and some of our viewers may not know who you are by now. Uh, so who are you guys? Okay, I'm Alvan. <laughs> and we are eyes, the three of us. Um, we met the three of us at school. Uh, we learned to speak written at the age of two or three years old, maybe. Uh, we met at middle school with Marine. We learned to sing him some traditional Britain songs there, and we met with Erin in high school. And she, she has same, same parkour of what we did. So we began to sing all the three of us together in Britain uh, on stages like uh, the Festival Interceltic of Lorient or the Celtic Connection of Glasgow and all. And last summer, Alexis and Marine met at a bar, of course. Yeah. <laughs> last summer, I just wanted to, to, to make a music with ethnic voices from home, from Brittany. And uh, I, I tried with my grandma voice, with my mom voice, uh, singing in Britain, but no, no really work. So I let the project uh, on the side and I get out one one night and I meet Marine in a bar. So <laughs> Marine, Marine, she, she sings in Britain um, with her friends and uh, I said, uh, okay, let's go at home. I have uh, something to listen to, to make you listen to. Wow, what a coincidence. Yes, three weeks after. Incredible. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, before you started the music career, Alvan, you used to work in healthcare. Health what? Sorry? Healthcare. Uh, healthcare? <clears throat> <clears throat> Ah, before the music? Yes, before the music. Wow, you know that. Uh, <laughs> yes, I, I worked with um, uh, comment dire, uh, uh, little children in handicap situation. Oh, oh really? Yeah. That's so sweet. Yes, I, I loved this job and That's I loved nice. these this children. Yeah. Uh, and how did you end up in the music industry then? I didn't understand, sorry. Uh, how did you end up in the music industry since you were working in healthcare and then you started the music and ended up performing? Um, I started with, uh, with a label, a, a dubstep label um, mm -hmm. back in the days. Yes, it's, it was in 20, 2012, I guess. 2012, and um, I sing with my first label. Uh, after I work on some tracks, some some tracks to develop my universe, and uh, and I uh, I start to, to make big bangers <laughs> <laughs> with Electro Posé, um, the YouTube promoter. Okay. Yes. And now you're going to release an album uh, called Magma? Yes, yes. You're well, right. Have, have, have you already released it? Uh, no, the release day is programmed uh, on 13, uh, 13 of next month. Yeah. Oh, the day before the final? Yeah. Totally. Perfect timing. <laughs> <laughs> it's still right now. <laughs> uh, will the album be sound-wise the same as Fulen? Fulen will be. Ah, je prends ton accent. Attends, Fulen 
will be on the on the album. Yeah. Yes, and the other. Ah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I didn't you expect to translate. that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I have, I have to improve. Um, <laughs> um, some kind of this style, like Fulen, some tracks will be on the same universe, but without girls. So I hope people. <laughs> 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 Will there be boys? Uh, with my voice, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And I was wondering how the, um, uh, you were uh, telling us how the four of you got together to uh, make some music. Um, but where do you guys find your musical inspiration? Um, uh, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, life moments. Yes. I guess. Yeah, yeah and I think that. Fulen is like a, a, a combo of who we are, what we like, all the the songs, the sounds that you mix to make some track, yeah. uh, our identity, the the music of the, the written language too. The beauty of sound. The beauty of sound. <laughs> and also <clears throat> that's a, a identical <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Fulen is the second song to be performed in Breton in Eurovision. What made what made you choose to sing in that this language? Well, Breton is our part language. Yes. We did, uh, at school. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, we we learned uh, Breton uh, at school at a very young age. Um, uh, we also heard the language uh, in our families, so so yeah, it's very it, it means a lot to us. Uh, also, it's a minorized language, so there's no, uh, it's not, um, it's not as uh, widespread as French. So it really means a lot to bring that diversity, the, uh, the French diversity, on the on the Eurovision uh, contest uh, stage. Yeah, <laughs> your ambitions. <laughs> so, so yeah, we, we really want to carry that language. Oh. And it's a beautiful language, right? Of it's a, in Fulan, it's really beautiful. I have never heard Breton before, but so this is a new, a new acquaintance for me. But can you please say a sentence in normal French and say the same sentence in Breton. Can I say in French, sentence in French, because I only know French. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you say French, they will say it. Okay. Uh, je vous adore, vous êtes vraiment trop gentil. Au carreau d'Arion, gentil trio. That was so quite different. Yeah. 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 Actually, Breton is a Celtic language and French is a Latin language, so it's not the same family. We are closer yeah. from uh, closer from Welsh or Cornish language or even Gaelic or Gaelic. Uh, mm. Yeah. Yeah. And what does that sentence mean in English? <laughs> in English? Yeah. I will love you and yeah. you you are so kind. <laughs> <laughs> you need to shout that from the Eurovision stage. <laughs> Not in French, but in Breton. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, what was the meaning behind the lyrics of Fulen? Because for us, we need to get it translated into English to understand. But can you get? Can you give us a short summary of the meaning of Fulen? Well, Fulen is about uh, feminine emancipation. Oh. Uh, it's based on a Breton legend. The, the the speaks of, of well we we took a character that was described as bad yes, in no. the in the legion and we we thought that it wasn't bad actually it was a really empowering and positive figure mm -hmm. uh, and we really identify nowadays with uh with her with uh, so the original heroine is Catel Golet and uh, and yeah she is the fulen in the song um, and yeah, it's about uh, being free to do uh, for to do whatever we want with our bodies, uh, especially as women. 
the and yeah, basically that's it. It's kind of witchy vibes also. So. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit the story about yeah, Fiona in Shrek. Yes, in the tower, close yeah. to the tower. Ah, no, Rome. like the same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love the message. Um, <laughs> and how do you feel your stage performance in the national final selection reflects the lyrics of your song? Yes, it does, because we had some fire and some mystical thing. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's... A lot of energy. Yeah. And yeah. like uh, an image of uh, the um, all the lyrics and the story and how we were thinking of it. Yeah, and also in my opinion, there was some kind of dark, mysterious setting there as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and the Eurovision stage is quite big. Um, so, what kind of changes may we expect from your performance to adapt to the bigger stage? We are working on this. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. It will be the same, but better. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same, but better and bigger. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, cool. uh, you have also attended all the pre-parties arranged this far. Uh, how has it been to meet the other Eurovision class of 22? So cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're so happy so to, to meet with them. And there's not a... a a competition thing at all. Uh, we all are very happy to meet with the others to speak, to exchange, mm -hmm. and also that's just so great. And we made a lot of friends. It's yeah. like a school class uh, mood. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just yeah. like that. Yeah. And we have to say that um, the Norwegians represented were very, really good at bringing people together yeah. and they put a really great energy. Yeah, yeah we really like uh, And they so help us first to, to learn the... Yeah, the choreography. The way, yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you know the moves? And yeah. we love the song, yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So to play it. Yes, <laughs> 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 Banana. What? Banana, <laughs> yes. It's the wolf and the banana. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, and uh, when you were when you were on the stage, the stages in the um, pre parties they are quite small. You get to interact with the audience a lot. How Different. did that feel? Uh, how did it feel to get so near the fans? We were it. really happy because uh, we didn't uh, do any shows with Dylan before, all together, mm -hmm. just uh, on the final friends final. Mm -hmm. And yeah, to meet them finally, to 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 sing Dylan in front of people was great. And we we uh, they gave us inner energy, and they sang Dylan uh, with us some mm -hmm. parts of the song with us, yeah. and that's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, that was the best time to meet everybody. Yeah. yeah to share the yeah. Share energy, share love. Yeah. And what are you guys looking forward to the most about going to Turin? Uh, take pleasure. Uh, yeah, to absolutely. eat a pizza. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> to see uh, Pete's, Pete's Tower. Yeah. Um, no, no, no. Uh, for real, uh, to play. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> yes. We have to do uh, the best show that we can do to present our town to Eurovision, to to Europa, and also we are really happy to do that, and we can't wait to be there to discover the stage and all. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, stages. Yeah, and mm -hmm. to meet with the other the other artists. Yes, our uh, friends. Yes. yes. Uh, the Eurovision history has become long. Uh, do you have any favorite songs from the Eurovision history? Yes, uh, I loved um, back in the days Lordi from Finland. Uh, oh, yes. 20, 20 what? 20, 26? 20, 20, 06? Yes. 26. Yeah. 
2000. Uh, yes, 2000. <laughs> 2000. <laughs> Stop kidding me. No, no, uh, yes, Finland, uh, Lordi, because I love rock and roll, I love, I love our energy, and that's the, the first memory from Eurovision for me. Because my grandma, uh, back in the days, uh, look uh, every year Eurovision. She can't miss yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I, re I remember also, uh, well, a lot of performances. Uh, Goa last year from Ukraine. Yeah. 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 The yeah. really strong and powerful song. And a little bit in the same spirit, the Norwegian song in 2019 was a uh, really great mix because uh, it brought also uh, ethnic and um, specificities of Norway. Yeah. And yeah, and that, I, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they they brought the yoik Yay. to the stage because that that way of singing that Fred is doing is called yoik. Mm. Is that from Sami's culture? Yes, yeah. it is. Yoik. Yoik. Yeah. Yoik. Yes. Wait. You should have yoik in your uh, upcoming album. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Good thing. <laughs> it could be yeah. cool. <laughs> and how about you, other guys? What's your Eurovision favorites? Uh, uh -huh. So uh, many uh, favorites. Yeah. Uh, because we, we have we have met uh, all these this artists and maybe sometimes we met uh, first the artist before um, hear the song. Oh. So um, we think about the, the Czech Republic, uh, the Ukraine, obviously, and uh, the subwoofer from your country, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the key, encore. Uh, you know, Some rider from UK. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Jeremy, Jeremy from Belgium. Olonella. We love everybody. Them. Yeah. yeah. And a little, um, fun, a little fun fact then it's that the, the two guys in the Czechian. Um, Entry are Norwegian. Oh, really? Oh, yes. You know and uh, Amanda from uh, Greece is half Norwegian. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Norwegian too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, you mentioned several entries uh, that are competing this year. Um, but if you had the chance to collaborate with one of this year's Eurovision artists, who would it be and why? The subwoofers, of course, because they have some good moves yes. and, and, <laughs> and good production. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we yeah. so, to have the same mask as them. The yeah. sound so, good. sounds good. The song. Yeah, so they could be your backup dancers or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were the same. We already in uh, in yellow and black, uh, yeah. just like the subwoofers. So yeah. We, you, we, we don't even have to change our outfits. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. And, and then you can make a mashup between Fulen and, and the grandma song. That would be yeah. really, really nice. Yeah. <laughs> and banana. Yeah. <laughs> Give Fulen a banana. <laughs> uh, since you are such an unknown artist to the Norwegians, uh, can you share a fun fact about each one of you? Mm -hmm. uh, we can, we can. Oh, <laughs> I love <laughs> this reaction is so good. Yes. I, ha I have one. I have one. A fun fact from uh, from me. Yes. <laughs> from friends. Uh, I played um, at the pre parties of Amsterdam. I play uh, the drums, the drum tom, with the drumsticks from um Denmark. from Denmark from drummer from oh. Denmark oh really Red drumsticks yeah cool because I, I forget mine and uh, and she goes <laughs> <Quite a scene. laughs> <laughs> it's fun just for me never mind it, it was fun for us too yeah, that, that, uh, 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 Const Constructa from Serbia uh, borrowed the towels from the hotel yeah. to her yeah. performance. So, uh, yes. Uh, um, 
from the Rasmus too? I used to oh, forgot yeah. the um, the bedroom card in the hotels in the bedroom and <laughs> get out and be stuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so very cool to do. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Yeah, I have a yeah. I I'm yeah. We were rehearsing in in London, and uh, I I forgot I I, I already wore my uh, <laughs> skirt. It is a long skirt and quite a. It's not a lot. It's not really. We can't do a lot of moves, uh, and I wanted to <laughs> to make a high kick, but I got. <laughs> Back in the, in, the, in the skirt, and I, I fell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> a big bottle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 just, just before before stage. I hope it's okay to laugh about it now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, uh, Czech Republic, uh, we can't uh, thank them uh, because yeah. uh, each yeah. three parties, they borrow. Um, no, ils ont prêté ou ils ont emprunté? Uh, the boroughs, uh, their earphones. So, uh, oh, oh. For, 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 yeah. forest, forest, yeah. Okay, yeah. And every time we have a problem, so like yeah. a, a closed door and we are stuck yeah. uh, at the, the, the wrong side, yeah. they are saver. always there to save us. Yeah. They came yes. like, yeah. You need that? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, on the end. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yes. That's that just proves that you're just one big happy family and one big group of friends. Exactly. Yes. Um, would you like to give a greeting to the fans watching? What? Sorry. Would you like to give a greeting to the fans watching this interview? Yeah. Hmm. From just greetings. Yeah. What? Are we really? Are we really? <laughs> <laughs> we are so thankful. Yeah. How do you say? How do you say thank you in Norway? Uh, tusen tack. Tusen tack. Yes. Très bien. Tusen tack. Très bien. Okay. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for your time. Uh, we had a blast talking to you. Uh, I love the acoustic performance of your song, but I can't oh, yes. wait to see you live in Turin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. See you there. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.